Greetings, Eric Becker from New Zealand, the naturopath from New Zealand who likes to work with people with candida and bowel problems, uh, tummy problems. I've got a question here from Jeff McGaming. That's an interesting game, McGaming. That must be an American name. Uh, could, be, could be British. I've been watching your videos, amongst others, for quite some time now, and I'm pleased with your information. You explain things in full detail that others don't. They simply say, do this, blah, 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 but don't say why, leading people down the wrong path. I plan on utilizing your supplements after I've read and studied your book thoroughly. Now, I purchased your book two days ago. So far, a great book, by the way. However, in your book, you stated to avoid can, can tuna on a mevi diet, but in this video, you say it's okay? When you have a moment, can you elaborate? Also, MEVI stands for meat, eggs, vegetables, and yogurt. Are you saying you can have grains too? Or is this after the big cleanup phase? Please pardon whatever repeated questions you may have experienced as I'm cross-referencing information with your videos and with the information in your book. I have your videos on one monitor and your PDF book on the other and the notebook taking notes. I'm quite confused. At your earliest convenience, please elaborate on the questions asked. Okay, Mr. McGaming. I never stated in my book to avoid canned tuna. I would have said to have been cautious of it with some people because of the perceived mercury levels in it. But I never said to completely avoid all canned tuna. In fact, I did write about mercury and selenium content in fish and um, you know, the tuna in my book in some detail. So I think you might have your wires crossed there, my friend. Um, hmm. I never said to avoid canned tuna. So maybe you need to really read the book quite thoroughly before you know you, you ask these kind of questions. Um, meat, uh, MEVI stands for meat, eggs, vegetables, and yogurt. Are you saying we can have grains too? You haven't read my book. You need to go and uh, really study the book and have a look at the section on grains and whether you should go gluten-free and the non-gluten alternatives, you know, and the link between gluten and candida. I've just done a video on that, which I'd like you to watch on the HWP1 protein and candida please watch that Jeff that might uh, really answer a few questions for you uh, when your tummy's fixed up you can eat all grains as far as I'm concerned even wheat grain for most people they don't need to avoid it um, yeah I think you need to read the book I think you need to go through because remember there are two big sections in the book there's one on the candida diet the candida crusher diet and there's also one a whole section huge section about 100 pages on healthy eating introduction to healthy eating so I want you to go through all of that stuff, uh, read it really thoroughly, and then watch my videos. Now, there could be some disparity between the videos and the book, and that's because a lot of the information I give is generalized. Okay, It doesn't relate very specifically to one person. When I see a person in my clinical practice, the advice I give that particular person might be entirely different from what I put in the book or on my videos, because it's going to relate to that person. right? So one size doesn't fit all. Remember, it's very important. Uh, you know, generalized information is exactly that. It's generalized information. Most people can tailor that information to suit their own needs. Other people, they can't work like that. They want something that's right down, you know, idiotically right down to the, every I dotted and T crossed exactly for them. But for that, they would need to see someone you know, and, and talk about their particular concerns and problems and then have that information relate exactly for their needs. All right? But most intelligent people, in my opinion, can figure that out themselves. <clears throat> so I hope you got all that, Jeff. And it sounds like you're into gaming in a big way. So just be careful with computers and gaming because, in my experience, uh, people who play computer games a lot don't often get enough sleep and they don't often eat the right kind of food. Um, that might, might be why canned tuna could be one of your favorite foods because it's a quick meal, quick snack. So I prefer that you have a fresh fish over canned fish any day. So I hope that answers your question, Mr. McCain. Thank you.